we would have known what watch the thief would have come we would have sat up and watched the Bible says, watch and pray ye always that you may be accounted worthy to escape these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. He wants us to stand, brothers and sisters, and we can't stand naked. Hallelujah. Because there's a battle cry. There's a trumpet being sounded in the land. Hallelujah. There's a trumpet being blown. And surely the Lord God will do nothing except reveal His secrets to the servants of prophets. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you the secret things belong unto the Lord, but the things that are revealed belong unto us. When God brings forth a revelation, and the Bible says his word is like a rock, like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. When the word comes and you feel the witness of it, that's the spirit of God indwelling in the land. And that's the word of God coming forth into your life. And it wants to take root and bring forth 100 fold. God. He wants to make people sons and daughters. And he's calling an army. Shall the trumpet be blown and the people not do nothing? Let the trumpet be sounded. And we got to hear the voice. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in the day of the seventh day messenger, when he begins to sound, that the mystery of God shall be finished. I'm here to tell you, this thing's winding up. I'm here to tell you, I'm just a messenger. Don't look at me. I'm just a messenger that I'm trying to obey God. The time's short. But Revelations 1, 3 says the time's at hand. Hallelujah. It's time to obey him. Amen. Yes, some of us, we did run well. And we were bewitched. And we were hindered. But it's time for us to go back into that camp. It was so bad, David, the king, they were going to stone him. They were going to throw him out. They were going to kill him. But he went to the prophet. And he inquired. That's what I'm telling you. If we can get to God and inquire of God. If we can get in God's presence and inquire. Hallelujah, Leo. If you begin to search God's word out, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Says the Lord that I am the Lord who begin to deal with the people that you've talked with. And even the Spirit of God, even the angel of His presence does go before you. Hallelujah. And does cause you to be stirred at nights. Hallelujah. Oh, think it not a strange thing that voices will even come. But the Lord of God breaks that fire in you. And the gift of God that's been placed in your life shall be awakened. Hallelujah. And you shall know where to go and what to do. Only obey the Spirit of God, Amen. says the Lord. Jeez. Hallelujah. Whoa. God's turning around things. He's not doing things the way the church world is doing them. Whoa. It's not creeds and traditions. Whoa. Jesus was not crucified between two candlesticks in the, in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. He suffered without the gate. Hallelujah. He went without. He went as a forerunner. And as a forerunner, and one that went into the most holies of holies, he said he was the first begotten of many sons. Amen. Abraham had many sons. And the promise of Abraham is this, that Abraham believed God and was counted into him as what? But guess what? I read another scripture. Listen, I read another scripture. Another man of God. Obeyed God and executed judgment, and it was accounted unto him as righteousness. God's raising up a people. Hallelujah. His word is going out like a line. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like a line that's going out. He's like a fisher. Yep. Hallelujah. He's reaching out. His, his hand's not short, the Bible says. Neither is the ears heavy, but he listens to the cry of the heart. The groaning of the prisoner that was in the pit. Jesus went into the nether parts of the hell, brother. He broke the gates off. Revelation says he had the key to death, hell, the grave. They were thinking they were going to bring Jesus to the grave. But they didn't have the power to keep him there. Why? Because he was a sinless one. He was without sin. He paid the price for you. He paid the price for me. He broke the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke 
the chains that the devil has sought to bind you. Hallelujah. They're loosened. And you're going to be a free man. We're the Lord's free men. Hallelujah. And the work of God that God has started in your heart. The Spirit of God does rest upon you and your ears, even this night. Hallelujah. So your hand begins to write with the pen. Hallelujah. And the Lord begins to take you over and your ministry becomes alive and reunites that spirit. Hallelujah. As you walked and wanted to walk and take the cross up. Hallelujah. It shall now come upon you and even the Word of God will be alive in your soul. And I will go with you from one state in the U.S. and one province in Canada. Hallelujah. It will be just like the hand of the Lord that was upon Elijah. For your word is coming alive in you. Hallelujah. And the ministry that the Lord has for you is now yet to begin. Wait for it. Go. Tarry. And as it was spoken, it shall not lie, but it shall surely come to pass. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, God's word don't fail. Not one word of this Bible is going to ever fail. Hallelujah. Man's a liar. The Bible says, let every man be a liar, but let God be true. My Bible says that every word that's spoken of the prophets shall come to pass. Every one of them prophets that prophesied and stood up against evil and put it into the dungeon. Hallelujah. And were sawn asunder. Hallelujah. And they were cast out and stoned. Hallelujah. Call on the name of the Lord that has a good house for God. Hallelujah. It's going to be for this generation. And he's coming back soon. Hallelujah. I see him. Hallelujah. I see him. He's coming back with King of Kings and Lord of Lords on his thigh. And he's not coming back as the lamb that's led to slaughter. This time he's coming back in fury. He's coming back on a white horse. He's coming back by a sharp twisted sword, piercing even the divine thunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints of the marrow. I'm here to tell you, God's calling. It's time for us to listen. Hallelujah. It's time that we must possess the kingdom. The Bible talks about Daniel, Daniel 9. Hallelujah. The time came for the saints of the Most High to possess the kingdom and to take it by force. The kingdom shall not be left to another people. It's a 42nd generation, a lost generation. A seed will serve him, and it shall be counted unto him as a generation. Now is the time. Revelations 1 3. It's time for us to possess it. Amen. Nine gifts. The gifts of God are coming back to the children of God. Hallelujah. The laying hands on the sick. The five signs. This is made for us as a believer. Us as a one that sought God out. Are you real God? Gideon said, if all these things befall me. You think, brother, you're preaching a, a, a far-fetched word. No, if all these things that befall you, look at Gideon, all these things befell upon Gideon. But he said, Lord, if you're God, where be thy miracles? Hallelujah. Yeah. Miracles are returning. Yeah. My Bible says that these signs follow those that believe. Yeah. Now, we can't lift ourselves up. When we prophesy and speak God's worldly hands on the sick, you're not the one that heals the sick. Those, the, the oil, you know them with the oil. It's God that does the work. James 5 says, hallelujah, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And if they committed any sins, they shall be forgiven of them. We're made able ministers of the New Testament. That means we have got the power of reconciliation to reconcile people back to God. To bring people back into the fold. The 99 saints in the fold. It's good to have a church. But guess what? There's stray sheep out there. Hallelujah. There's people out there that need God to heal. There's people out there that are counting on you. Hallelujah. There's people out there that are waiting for the word of God. They're waiting for somebody. They're waiting for the cry. They're waiting for a deliverer. They're waiting for somebody that's got sand in his shoes. They're waiting for you to pray. The Bible says, pray that you be accounted worthy. We're not worthy. He's worthy. Amen. He's worthy of all praise. The healer's worthy. The king. The mighty God. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. The rose of Sharon. 
the healer, the whole majority. God, the provider. God, the deliverer. Amen. Is God able to deliver? Amen. He's able to deliver. I'm going to push it to you guys tonight. He will deliver. He has delivered. And he'll yet deliver. Yeah. My God's a consuming fire. Oh. The Bible says in the book of Malachi that the Lord whom you seek, the messenger of the covenant, listen to this, brother. In the Malachi, the book of Malachi was supposed to be written by a prophet, but nowhere could I find who that prophet was. All I found was a dead end of that. The, the word Malachi simply means messenger. Hallelujah. Lord. The messenger. You the messenger. God's coming on you. Yeah. God's coming on you. Yeah. God's waiting for you. Yeah. God, we say, well, when's God going to do this? When God's going to do that? Well, when are you going to pull up your socks? Hallelujah. When are you going to get that sand in your shoe? When are you going to begin to cry aloud and begin to get that fasting? Hallelujah. I was on, not many days ago, I was in the forest. Hallelujah. Brother Andrew, I went on to the National Forest of South Carolina. Toted my tin in there. Got up in there. I was fasting for three weeks on juice and seven days on water. And I was laying on the fourth floor, reaching out to God with another brother that came in there with me, which he's on our way now. And we're crying out to God because we need something to stand and withstand the wiles of the enemy. Put ye on the full armor of God.